Well, to health news now, a girl from Indiana is battling the flesh eating bacteria her family says she got while swimming at a Florida beach. Well, it got us wondering, is it possible to contract that kind of bacteria in Lake Erie? Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is back to verify the answer to that. The question, is it possible to get necrotizing fasciitis in Lake Erie? Our experts, Chris Kippis, head of epidemiology, and Tom Fink, Beach Water Program Director, both from the Cuyahoga County Board of Health. If you live near Lake Erie, you know to stay out of the water for 24 to 48 hours after a heavy rain. Why? With the combined sewers that we have here in the area, plus runoff from the, just the land around the beach areas, the near shore waters can have a higher bacteria count. That's why the county tests the water daily and issues advisories when needed. The problem bacteria, E. coli. Can E. coli cause necrotizing fasciitis? It can, yes. It's important to know that there are several types of bacteria that can cause what people often refer to this as the flesh eating bacteria. Those with compromised immune systems are most at risk, but anyone with an open cut or wound should stay out of the water when the warnings are up. If they have a break in their skin, uh, they really should be avoiding um, hot tubs, pools, or entering uh, natural bodies of water such as lakes, rivers, streams, oceans. Necrotizing fasciitis is rare, impacting one in 100,000 each year. But is it possible to get necrotizing fasciitis in Lake Erie? You can get um, this type of infection from swimming in Lake Erie under uh, very uh, certain or ideal conditions. It's, so it's a very rare illness that we see. Okay, but there is that slight possibility out there. And that's verified.